Imagine an animal that's just like an alpaca, but about half the size. That's a mini alpaca for you. They're part of the same family as llamas, but they're noticeably smaller. Let's find out if they're good pets, the pros and cons, and their needs. What are mini alpacas? Mini alpacas, also known as miniature alpacas, are a smaller version of the regular alpacas. They are part of the camelid family, originating from South America, and are domesticated relatives of the guanaco and the vicuna. At the shoulder, miniature alpacas stand less than 32 inches, which is approximately 81 centimeters. This makes them quite manageable and perfect for those who prefer smaller pets. But don't be fooled by their size. They are just as charming and fluffy as their larger counterparts. In contrast, regular alpacas are noticeably bigger. They stand approximately 90 centimeters high at the shoulder and can reach an overall height of 115 centimeters. So while mini alpacas do grow, they don't get as big as the regular alpacas. This makes them a great choice if you're looking for a unique, manageable, and adorable pet. How to keep mini alpacas as pets? Keeping mini alpacas as pets is a unique experience, but it does require some knowledge and preparation. Mini alpacas are herd animals, so they used to be in a group environment. If possible, it's recommended to own more than one to prevent them from feeling isolated, which can lead to anxiety or aggression. While they are independent animals, they do enjoy interacting with humans. The handling they receive as youngsters can determine their behavior as adults, so gentle and regular interaction is beneficial. These animals need plenty of space to roam freely. They are not typically indoor pets. They are more suited to an outdoor environment where they can graze and explore. A secure and spacious yard is ideal for their well-being. In terms of maintenance, mini alpacas are not high maintenance compared to some other pets, but they do require regular care. This includes shearing their wool, regular veterinary checkups, and ensuring they have a balanced diet. As for veterinary visits, they don't typically require frequent vet visits if they are healthy and well cared for. However, regular checkups are recommended to prevent and detect any potential health issues early. Do mini alpacas get along with other animals? Mini alpacas are generally sociable creatures that can get along with a variety of other animals. They are herd animals, so they thrive in groups, whether it's with other alpacas or different species. The best companion animals for alpacas are often other herd animals. This can include llamas, miniature horses, donkeys, sheep, and goats. They can also coexist with poultry and livestock guardian dogs. These animals can offer a harmonious relationship to your alpaca with proper precautions. However, it's important to note that some animals can be too risky around alpacas. Larger animals such as cattle and horses above 14 hands may pose a risk. Similarly, pet dogs may not always be suitable companions due to their predatory instincts. While mini alpacas can coexist with other animals, it's essential to ensure that they have enough space and resources to prevent competition and conflict. Do mini alpacas spit? Mini alpacas, like normal alpacas, do have the ability to spit. This behavior is a form of communication for them used to express displeasure or as a warning to others to back off. They can regurgitate and spit the contents of their stomach up to 10 feet away. While this might seem unpleasant, it's an important part of how alpacas communicate their feelings. They may spit for a variety of reasons, including self-defense, food competition, or to ward off the advances of a persistent male. However, it's usually a last resort and they rarely spit at humans unless they are being abused or are otherwise extremely uncomfortable. Alpacas can become aggressive, but it's not common. It's usually related to breeding rights or if they feel threatened. Aggression in alpacas is often seen as unusual behavior. How to train in mini alpaca. Training a mini alpaca can be a rewarding experience. And yes, they can learn tricks. Often a simple clicker, the same tool you'd use for a dog or horse, is the best tool for training an alpaca. You give a single click when the alpaca does what you want, followed by a treat. Soon enough, merely the sound of the click is enough to reward the alpaca. Alpacas are not known for their obedience. They are independent animals and prefer to do their own thing. However, they can be trained as long as they trust you and feel safe. One common training exercise is halter training which helps them become comfortable with being led around. Bonding with a mini alpaca is all about building trust. Spend time with them, feed them, 
and interact with them gently and calmly. What kind of shelter do mini alpacas need? Mini alpacas require a shelter to protect them from bad weather conditions and predators. The shelter doesn't need to be complicated. A three-sided structure with a roof is often sufficient. The open side should not face the wind to provide adequate protection. The size of the shelter depends on the number of alpacas. Each alpaca should have at least 40 square feet of space. This ensures they have enough room to move around comfortably. So, for a single mini alpaca, a shelter of approximately 200 cm by 200 cm should be sufficient. The shelter should have a dirt-covered flooring or another slip-resistant material to prevent slips and falls, which could lead to injuries. It should also be secure to protect the alpacas from predators such as dogs, coyotes, and foxes. While alpacas can do fine outside in average climates, they will need better shelter during severe cold, extreme heat, and heavy rain. What do mini alpacas eat? Mini alpacas primarily eat grass or hay. They consume approximately 2 pounds per 125 pounds of body weight daily, which is about 1.5% of their body weight. They also enjoy young leaves and grasses, which are easier to digest and have more nutrients. Next to grass and hay, mini alpacas can enjoy a variety of fruits and vegetables as treats. Apples, bananas, beet shreds, and carrots are some of their favorites. However, it's important to remember to cut these treats into bite-sized pieces and feed them in moderation. While mini alpacas can eat a variety of foods, there are some they should avoid. Certain plants, such as rhododendrons, azaleas, and laurels, can be toxic to alpacas. Also, avoid feeding them grains in large amounts as it can lead to digestive issues. What kind of care do mini alpacas need? Mini alpacas are relatively low-maintenance animals, but they do need regular grooming to stay healthy. Their thick fleece needs to be sheared at least once a year, usually in the spring. This not only helps keep the alpaca comfortable, but also provides valuable fiber. Regular checks for parasites, especially in their ears, are also important. Next to grooming, mini alpacas require regular hoof care. Their hooves grow continuously and need to be trimmed every two to three months to prevent overgrowth and associated problems. What are the cost of mini alpacas? The cost of owning a mini alpaca can vary widely, with prices ranging from $250 to $10,000 per animal. The cost depends on various factors such as the alpaca's age, conformation, fiber quality, lineage, facial appearance, and personality. In terms of annual costs, you'll need to budget for food and veterinary care. The cost of feeding an alpaca for a year can be around $70, which includes hay, grain, and minerals. Veterinary costs can vary depending on the health of the alpaca and the region you live in. Routine care such as vaccinations and worming can cost around $50 per year. Are mini alpacas good pets? Mini alpacas can make wonderful pets, offering a unique and rewarding experience. They are known for their gentle and friendly nature, making them a great choice for families. They are also relatively easy to train and handle, and their loyalty to their owners is often highlighted. One of the major pros of having a mini alpaca as a pet is their hypoallergenic fleece, which is not only soft and warm, but also less likely to cause allergic reactions. They are also quite hardy and adaptable, able to thrive in various climates. However, there are some cons to consider. Mini alpacas are herd animals and prefer to be in the company of their own kind. Keeping a single alpaca can lead to loneliness and stress. They also require a spacious outdoor area to roam and graze, which may not be feasible for those living in urban areas. While they are generally low maintenance, they do require regular care such as shearing, hoof trimming, and veterinary checkups. They also have a long lifespan, often living up to 20 years, so owning a mini alpaca is a long-term commitment. In comparison to other pets, mini alpacas offer a unique blend of companionship and practicality. However, they may not be the right choice for everyone. It's important to consider your lifestyle, living situation, and commitment level before deciding to get a mini alpaca as a pet. We hope you found the mini alpaca as fascinating as we did. If you want to learn more about animals or other interesting pets, be sure to check out more videos on our channel. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on our latest content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell to get notifications. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more exciting content.